What am I looking for? Hey, there's something in this bottle. A note. I think this is it. Oh, hi, Aaron. Hi, I saw you come down here. I was just visiting Hyacinth. What are you up to? I'm trying to solve the last bit of these crazy riddles. This is the last one, but I just don't get it. Show me. It would be easy if you could fly. A leap of faith will keep you dry. Four legs can do it better than two. Complete this task and you are through. It sounds like you have to cross some water. I don't think you can fly across, but maybe... The boat! Yeah, the leap with four legs must have something to do with your horse. So I have to get her to take me out to the boat. I reckon. What about this last bit, though? Complete this task and you are through. Why would he write the letter U? Beats me. Maybe we should look for something that looks like a letter U. Of course. Want to help me look? Sure, let's go. Unbelievable! It looks like gold! Wow! I've never seen so much gold! I've never seen any gold! I can't believe Jack made his piece of gold into a horseshoe. He said everyone casts their gold into the same shape. So I guess I'm not just looking for gold, but golden horseshoes! This must be worth a fortune! If I could find all of these, we could save the stables! Aaron, you can't tell anybody about this at all. Promise me you won't tell. I promise. Cross your heart. Okay, cross my heart. This is so exciting. I know. I have to get back to the stables. I want to feed my horse and put this somewhere safe. Okay, I'll come by later. Remember, cross your heart. Don't worry, I have. Bye.
Hello, Stevie. How's everything going? Totally awesome. I found the first bit of gold, Jack's gold. Oh, wonderful! He disguised it as a horseshoe. Oh my! The stables might not be lost after all. I think there might be four of these. Oh, Stevie, that's amazing! If you could find them all, we might be able to save the stables. Oh,、uh, Frank Foster dropped this note around for you earlier. Dear old Frank, I haven't seen him in some time. Well, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Thanks, Agnes. That reminds me, I have to write to the Saddle Club. Wow, a golden horseshoe! Can you believe that? Maybe she can save Agnes's stables after all. I can't believe Veronica's there. I thought it was a bit quiet around here. Poor Stevie. Hi, Frank. I got your note. It was pretty short. Um, not much for writing. Never was. So, did you find it? Find what? Jack's shoe, of course. Actually, I did. Oh, good for you. Old Jack would be proud. I thought I might have scared you off with all my talk. No way. <laughs> well, good then. Clever and brave, eh? <laughs> Mustn't have been easy, though. Jack was a clever man. I bet you never knew you'd find something like this when you began. Sure didn't. Do you mind if I?、Uh... Sure. Of course you can hold it. In fact, I was hoping you could keep it safe for me. Me? Well, after all these years. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. Don't you worry. I'll make sure it's safe. In the newspaper, it mentioned two other men as well as Jack, Tom Smith, and Peter Adams. Did you each hide a shoe? <laughs> You're still asking questions. <laughs> well, now, I've been thinking it over, and I've decided to help you. You can ask me what you want, and I'll try to point you in the right direction. So、uh, let's see.、Uh, yes, you're right. There was more than one shoe. So now I suppose you'll be wanting to find shoe number two, eh? That's right. Well, as I said, I don't mind helping you. So let's see. If I'm not mistaken, the second shoe was Tommy's. Ah, that's right. Now, when Tommy weren't down in mines, there was only two other places he'd be: the Manor Library or the tavern. Tommy boy was fond of maps, so my guess is your quest will involve a map somehow. First place you might want to check is the tavern. There's a few of Tommy's maps pinned up on the walls. All right then. Well, what are you waiting for then? Get searching. And good luck. Thanks, Frank. Cheerio. I guess he's not so bad after all.
Hi there, April. Oh, hello, love. How's your investigation going? Great. I've solved the first part of the mystery, and now I'm working on the second. Good for you. I didn't see you at the town meeting the other night, but I suppose you've had your hands full, haven't you? Yeah, but I didn't even know there was a town meeting. Yes, spur of the moment thing, really. They often are. Oh well, you didn't miss much. Arthur mentioned something about a missing cow. Then we had a bit of a talk about Agnes's stables. What did everyone say exactly? Oh well, mostly just how awful it will be if the stables get torn down. That new priest, Tom Penman, I think, he was saying how if they do build a hotel, or whatever they're thinking, it will attract more tourists. Still, everyone was against the idea. Well, hopefully the stables will stay. If I can just work out these clues, actually, that's why I came in. I'd really like some help, please. All right then, far away. I think the answer to part of this mystery may be in one of Tom Smith's maps. Frank said there are some here. Could I have a look, please? Of course, dear. Over there on the wall. But I don't see what information those old maps could have. They're mostly just to the village. I think my dad said Tom kept his detailed maps in the library up at Jane Althorpe's manor. Why not have a look up there? Thanks, April. No problem. Good luck, and let me know how you get on. Jane. Good afternoon, Stevie. I didn't think you had a riding lesson today. I sure don't. I'm here to have a look in the library, if that's okay. Certainly. Just go inside. You know where it is. Jane, I didn't realize you were Veronica's aunt. Oh yes. I didn't know you knew her. She mentioned you went to her riding school. It must be nice to have a friend from home here on the island. Yeah, great. I'll just have a look in the library then. Hey, what are you doing in my aunt's library? Beat it. I'm only looking. For gold, perhaps? Or should I say, golden horseshoes? I have no idea what you're on about. Yes, you do. I know you're looking for them, and I know they're worth a lot of money. I want them for Garnet. What? You couldn't. I mean, if they even existed, you couldn't put them on your horse anyway. <laughs> you're just jealous that I'll have the best-looking horse at Pine Hollow. She'll be the only horse with golden horseshoes. You know we're going to find them first anyway. We? You mean you're working with someone else? None of your business. I didn't think Veronica would have a friend on this island. I should get going. Who could she be working with anyway? No! Someone must have untied my horse! I better find her before she strays too far. Hi, 
Hi, Stevie. Hi, Erin. I just saw your horse wandering around near the maze. What's she doing down there? Someone let her loose at the manor. One guess who that was. Who? Veronica. If it was her, she'll be sorry. Well, I should get going. I saw your horse here a while ago. I was wondering when you'd show up. Is she still here? Um, I don't think so. I tried to grab her, but she ran off towards a fishing village. Hey, why is she walking around by herself anyway? Someone untied her. I should go. Bye.